I think sometimes driver's obviously not always the place. So just generally even an iron off a par five or three woods or two irons, those kind of things, just to keep it in play. And then you've always got a shot going into the greens because the greens are, are fairly big, so you have half a chance. The front nine was alright, but the back nine seemed to definitely pick up a lot more, which is making it tricky, especially you get some tee shots where you can't feel the wind, so you just, you just got to kind of know where the wind's coming from to make sure where you want to go. I had a, a good start last week also, but unfortunately didn't play very well the second round, so hopefully I can just keep it going a bit more um, for the next two rounds coming up. Yeah, it was quite good, but you know, friend, uh, the wind's my friend. I love playing in the wind. It's a nice challenge. I putted really well. I shot uh, 26 putts, so that was that helped. I think in any pro, you need to make a few putts just to keep the momentum going. Yeah, I drove the ball well, hit the ball well. I think I missed two greens, but I really enjoyed it again. I'm very happy with today. I didn't know what to expect this week after playing well last week. Not hitting the ball too great, I came here confident and thought I played better than what I did last week. Nine was a nice birdie because standing on the tee I knew if I hit two iron off the tee I was going to be a little bit far back to try and get it to that pin and if I hit driver I was going to be a little bit too close so I didn't really have a club. And then just try to hit it as close to the green as possible and hit a brilliant drive. And again I think I had 80 yard to the flag, hit a beautiful little lob wedge in there and um, made a beautiful little putt there and that, that really just got the back nine going. 10 was a, a pretty little birdie, uh, I enjoyed that one. I had a little 3-iron, just chipped it down to 15, 20 meters short of the green and hit a very sexy little chip shot, if I have to say so myself. Um, I wasn't really sure how to play it and then ended up hitting a brilliant little chip to about a foot and making a putt. I was trying to make birdie on 17. Yeah, I just couldn't get myself to pitch my wet shot on the green. Um, I had a bit of a flyer line, thought if it did pitch on the green it would roll over. So I decided to pitch it short and it just didn't jump up as far as I'd liked it to. And then, yeah, that was my first nice long putt for the day that I made. That was, that was quite nice. Being in a good position with good weather coming the next two days, I think is, I couldn't have asked for a better start. I think there's a lot of guys that struggled out there this afternoon. Uh, I think we did get the, the worst side of the draw. But um, it's very nice coming into, into the weekend, as you'd say, um, right at the top there. To have a nice one today, he was nice. I did really good. I think I missed one green, so uh, in the wind, that's uh, that's great. You're always gonna always gonna make a few birdies, uh, by fives and two, and all that. So no, I'm I'm pretty happy. No, and yeah, I had a very good tee shot wedge. Came pretty close, so that was that was nice. We couldn't see it from the from the fairway, but um, you know, to walk up there and you got a short putt on that green, um, it always makes it nice. The up and down the last hole was nice, it was not the easiest of stance in the bunker but I had a pretty good shot and left a short putt and that's stress free, you know, it's, it's nice to make stress free birdies and uh, it's one of those rounds and now I can go and have an afternoon nap on this score and we'll see what, uh, what happens later on. <laughs>